So right off the bat, I'm not a cosmologist. At best, I am a lapsed backyard astronomer. However, since I got old, I can't stay up much past 10.30 at night, and I don't like to be out in the cold, so that limits my stargazing activities. Even so, I'm still interested, and I can still read. I have also put a metric buttload of links in the video description below, so here we go. Oh, one more thing. If you misread the title as Cosmetologist, you are going to be disappointed. I will not be giving you insightful commentary about blush and foundation application. Nope, this is about cosmology, a study of the universe and everything in it. There have been many historical attempts to explain the universe, and here are some notable ones. Geocentric theory. In ancient times, this theory held that the Earth was the center of the universe, and all other celestial bodies revolved around it. It's easy to see how this came about, as you can simply look up at the sky and see everything apparently moving around us. Heliocentric theory. This was proposed by Nicholas Copernicus in the 16th century, and he suggested that the Sun was the center of the universe, with the planets revolving around it. This theory challenged the geocentric theory and marked the beginning of a shift away from a geocentric universe. Nebular Hypothesis In the 18th century, Pierre-Simon Laplace suggested that the solar system formed from a rotating cloud of gas and dust. This theory is still widely accepted today. Big Bang Theory No, not that one. This theory is the most widely accepted description of the universe's origin. It suggests that the universe began as an incredibly hot, dense point, roughly 13.7 billion years ago, and has been expanding ever since. The idea was first suggested by a Belgian priest named Georges Lemaitre in the 1920s, and was later supported by Edwin Hubble's observations. Steady State Theory Proposed in the 1940s, this theory suggested that the universe has always existed and will continue to exist forever. This theory was later disproven by the discovery of cosmic microwave radiation, which in turn supported the Big Bang Theory. Oscillating Universe Theory This one suggests that the universe goes through a cycle of expansion and contraction, with each cycle beginning with a Big Bang and ending with a Big Crunch. This theory is still debated among scientists today. So you can see here how the th history of the universe has been shaped by many different theories, each building on the discoveries and ideas of those that came before. The Big Bang theory is currently the most widely accepted theory of the universe's origins, but scientists continue to explore new ideas and proposals to try and better understand our universe. This specific so-called crisis in cosmology that we currently hear about refers to the disagreement between different methods of measuring the age of the universe, which are giving different results, and cosmologists are unsure why. The disagreement is statistically significant and worth investigating. Scientists in general make observations, come up with a theory to explain what they see, and then test to see if in fact their theories jive with what actually happens. If so, great, much backslapping and kudos. If not, then tweak the theory or make more observations to help understand what's happening. Some scientists therefore have come to believe that the standard model of cosmology has fundamental problems, and the recent drop of new images from the James Webb Space Telescope has triggered something of a crisis in the field. The images show galaxies forming far earlier than our best models of cosmology predict. However, other cosmologists maintain that the crisis is exaggerated and that the standard model of cosmology is still the best and most expansive scientific understanding of the universe. The standard model of cosmology, also called the Lambda CDM model, is the current model that describes the universe's origin, development, structure, history, and future. It assumes that the universe was created in the Big Bang from pure energy and is now composed of about 5% ordinary matter, 27% dark matter, and 68% dark energy. 
The term standard model was first coined by Abraham Pace and Sam Tryman in 1975. The classic standard model required two foundational pieces, Einstein's general theory of relativity and all the matter and energy described in another standard model that is associated with particle physics. So the crisis in cosmology refers to the fact that measurements of the universe disagree with predictions made by the standard model of cosmology. There have been over 300 proposals for solutions to this crisis, but none of them are universally agreed upon by cosmologists. Here are some of the ideas that have been suggested. Early dark energy. This theory suggests that dark energy was present in the universe much earlier than previously thought which could help explain the discrepancies between measurements and predictions. MOND, or Modified Newtonian Dynamics, suggests that gravity behaves differently on large scales than it does on small scales. Reevaluating the Standard Model Some cosmologists agree that the standard model of cosmology may need to be reevaluated, but that it's not necessarily in crisis. New Physics other proposals call for the addition of new physics to the standard model, and this could include new particles or forces that have not yet been discovered. New observations. As measurements continue, new observations could help resolve things. For example, new observations of the cosmic microwave background, or of supernovas, could help to further refine our understanding of the universe. Overall, this crisis in cosmology is a complex problem that has yet to be fully resolved. While there are many proposals for solutions to resolving a situation, there may be another breakthrough just around a corner that will help things fall into place and help solidify our understanding of the universe in which we exist. Hey, thanks for watching and check out the many links below.